Welcome! In this video I'm going to cover the basics of Bash and Virtual Consoles. The GNU Born Again Shell, or Bash, is the command line shell that Red Hat Enterprise Linux administrators use. A command line shell is a text-based interface for issuing commands to the computer, and seeing any output. Commands are issued at a shell prompt, which is a string of characters indicating the shell is ready for command input. In Red Hat Enterprise Linux the prompt consists of the username, the at symbol, the short host name, the current directory, and a character indicating either a regular user or the super user root. The command will output any response before a new prompt is shown, although many commands do not output anything unless there is an error to report. Dollar represents regular users. Pound or hash represents the root user. In case you're wondering, the tilde character is a shortcut symbol for the user's home directory. Although it appears antiquated to type commands into a shell, compared to the point and click of a GUI interface, administrators almost always prefer the shell because of the flexibility and power that the shell gives them. For instance, many bulk operations are easier to perform from the shell, and some useful tools like grep do not really have GUI equivalents. Plus there is the ability to script regular actions. Also, it is common for servers to be headless, that is, without a terminal attached so a text-based interface is typically all that is available. A Linux machine's physical console supports multiple virtual consoles, which act like separate terminals. Each virtual console supports an independent login session. Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 starts with five text consoles and optionally one GUI console. You access the separate consoles by pressing Ctrl-Alt-F1 through to Ctrl-Alt-F6. If the GUI is running, it will be on Control alt f1 and the text consoles will occupy Control alt f2 through to Control alt f6 if the gui console is not running then the text consoles will be on Control alt f1 through to Control alt f5 commands entered at the prompt have three basic parts the command to run options that adjust command behavior and arguments which are typically targets of the command this command locks user Morgan's account. To effectively use a command you need to understand its syntax, that is what options it takes and what they do, and what arguments it expects. Most commands will have help available which can usually be seen by passing in the option dash dash help to the command. To understand the help output you need to be familiar with some basic formatting conventions. Square brackets surround items that are optional, Items with trailing ellipses indicate an arbitrary number of items can be specified. Items separated by the pipe symbol mean only one of the items can be specified. And items shown in caps or encased in angle brackets typically represent variable data that you must provide. For example, a file name. To recap, bash is the command line shell used on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Commands are issued at a prompt and will return any response to the console. Regular users have a prompt with a dollar symbol and the root user has a prompt with the pound or hash symbol. Virtual consoles are accessed by pressing Control alt f1 through to Control alt f6 with Control alt f1 used for the GUI when it is enabled. Commands have three parts the command, options and arguments. To understand the command syntax, review the command help. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.